Previously on Line of Fire. Drop the gun, Charlie. Put the gun down! Ah! Bert's dead. And Charlie Miller shot him. Has anyone notified Estelle? Charlie killed a fed. Charlie got a shot off. Is there any reason to think that Special Agent Bert Summers, the deceased, would have had a personal or inappropriate relationship with the deceased subject? I'm Special Agent Van Dorn. We were expecting you next week. Pardon? Honestly, I, I think Honestly, I could be more help. We just buried the agent you're replacing. This is uh, my friend Roy Ravel I was telling you about. Those feds were chasing Charlie for a reason. Charlie mostly kept to himself. Just tell me the oh, truth, and that'll Lord. be that with that. I swear to God, I just placed Roy, a couple of beds. Roy, I vouch for you. You understand what that means, right? I spent two and a half years in the joint for the Bureau. It was well beyond the call of duty. Hey, Chet. Hey, darling. Texas really burned your ass this week. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, it burned us too. Um, your end comes to $880. OK. See, uh, what's your name? Roy. Roy. Roy's going to be stopping by from now on. Oh, OK. Roy's, see, um, Oh, here we go, Chet. I, I can pay you on Friday, OK? I've got all these cakes that are going to be paid for by Friday, and I can pay you by yep. Friday. Yep. Pay yep. For They're going to be paid for Friday. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's nice. Real nice. Uh, you know what? I want you to come over here. What are you doing? That's good for you. What are you doing? Oh, well, that's original. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I told you, good for her. No more grace periods. Son of a bitch. Clean yourself up. Come on. So what's your background? Well, last couple of years, I've been tending bar in Chicago, a club called Grayson's. Heard of it? Hey, Blair. Good yeah, morning, Mr. Malloy. Jesse Shorewood, Clemson Tigers. You hit three homers in the 94 regionals against Texas. Yeah, you were there. Satellite dish, Jonah Malloy. Blair, you should see this kid. He's like a Stremski out in left. <laughs> Great no, range, hard. big stick. What are you doing here? He's looking for work. Why, you're not playing ball? Well, we were just talking about Blair. that. You're not playing ball? Well, like I was telling Mr. Blair, you know, I gave it a shot after college, but, uh... How old are you? 31. 31. 31 is nothing, my friend. I know talent. Talent, I know. And talent like yours does not belong behind a bar. You know, we have a double-A franchise right here in town, the Mockingbirds. They just changed hands. The new owner's a friend of mine. You want to try out? Look, Mr. Malloy, I just came looking for a job to make some cash. I haven't swung the bat in years. Why, you don't want to play ball? You drop by my house, we'll talk, okay? Blair will give you directions. Consider yourself in training. <laughs> okay. Hey, Blair, I'll be upstairs for a couple hours. You need me. Okay. Nice guy, huh? Hey, Wendy. Very. Hey, George. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Thanks. Oh, hey, Lisa. I was checking out the UC surveillance from yesterday. You might want to have a listen. Check it out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. You okay? I'm. I'm oh. fine. Relax. This is strictly a FedEx case, you know? Just pick up and deliver. It's not John Dillinger. She stole some credit cards in Chicago, okay. landed here. We badge her, put her on a plane. Good night, Irene. OK, but at Quantico, they told us that we should Paging. all. Word to the wise. This is not Quantico. I'll cuff, you cover. Excuse me, sir. Got You're it. Looking... I got it. Bureau Fleming? Yeah? FBI, I have a warrant for your arrest. What's the problem? Get your hands up. Well, you guys really got to do this? I'm eight months pregnant. Some folks in Chicago want to talk to you about a few stolen credit cards. Chicago? I can't fly. I'm, I'm... Well, that's all right. We'll sort that out later. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I can't. It hurts. The crap. Come on. It hurts. All right, all right, all right. Put them in front. Wrists together. Please don't Drop shoot. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot my baby. Drop 
the me, gun don't shoot my baby. now. Shoot me, shoot my baby. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot my baby. Don't. You don't want to shoot my baby. Please don't. Don't shoot my baby. Please don't shoot. I just want to have my baby. Card! Do you have a card? Yeah. to be here. They said we shouldn't rescue her. They? Who's who's they? Parent night. They said she needs to learn to take responsibility for her actions. All right, you know what? No. No, she is eight years old. I'm not sending her to school without her homework. What did you do with it? I don't know. She didn't do it. Yes, I did. You did do it? Yes. All right, I'm not, I'm not doubting you, Joni, but it's always better to tell the truth than a lie. I'm not lying. Yes, she is. Found her, Joni. I need to... Perfect. I gotta go in. Can you take the kids? I got a job, too. Carl. Thank you, ma'am. Sit down. Her, not to shoot her baby. Wait a minute. Not wait, to wait. So you, you didn't shoot out of concern for the baby? Ma'am, I did not believe that the that leave. woman... She could have dropped you. You should be dead right now, Van Doren. Bert Summers is dead because he didn't shoot. The agent that you replaced is dead because he didn't shoot. Does that mean anything to you? You're West Point, Van Dorn. You're FBI. You're trained to act, not react. Taxpayers have poured a lot of money into you. I think it's time you started earning it. Yes, ma'am. But Agent Dillard didn't... If Agent Dillard screwed up, it is your job to fix it. You don't like the setup. You don't go in. I will back you on this, but you never ever let anyone put your ass in a sling. Yes, ma'am. So now I, I got an agent in the hospital and a fugitive on the run with his weapon. I'm gonna give this to you. Ma'am? Get out of here, get some clean clothes on. I want you back right away. You bring this woman in. It's your case, Van Doren. Yes, ma'am. Samson, why don't you have a coffee with me? She's got blood all over her shirt. What happened? Dillard screwed up big time. He almost got Van Doren killed. Knowing him, he was trying to impress her like he ever had a shot. What, so he was cuffing the subject? In front. He's probably never had a woman go non-compliant on him before, especially a pregnant woman. I put Todd Stevens on site and I gave this to Van Doren. You're her training agent. I want you to supervise the investigation. What? Did she freeze? <sighs> I, I don't know. Maybe. You know, I thought she's all squared away. Mm -hmm. I, a little gung ho, maybe, Find but. Find out. Okay. Jonah, I'm sorry. Just one sec. Jonah, it's good to see you. Eddie, how are you? Doing fine. Is that the model for the new stadium? That's five years of my life sitting right there. It's beautiful. Listen, uh, I'm on a short rope this morning, please. Um, I assume you have some new paper product that my business can't live without? No, no. I came to talk baseball. Baseball? Yeah, you know, Harry and I used to lunch maybe once a week during the season, talk ball, good times. And in that spirit, I happened to run into a player yesterday I think may be of interest to you. Really? Who's that? Jesse Sherwood. He was a left fielder with Clemson, great range. No, 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 I, I know Jesse Sherwood. Had a cup of coffee with Cleveland in 97. Went back down after about, 
Mm, 20 games, I think. He couldn't hit the big league curve. No, no, no. This kid has a swing like Carl Yastrzemski. <laughs> this is what you came to talk to me about? Jesse Sherwood? Yeah, he's right here in town. He's in shape. I thought maybe if your guys took a look at him... Oh, I'm sorry, Jonah. We just wouldn't be interested. Well, as a favor, then. <laughs> a favor to whom? To me. No disrespect, Jonah. I am sure that you are very good at what you do. But I like to think that I'm pretty sharp at my own game. And just as I wouldn't presume to advise you on your business... I'm not advising, Eddie. I'm sharing some friendly information. No, 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 no. And, and, and I, I, I appreciate that. It's just that I come from a different school than old Harry. I like to say that I believe in stats, not chat. And as you can see, I've been pretty successful at it. So if it's okay with you, why don't... Um, why don't I do what I do, and you do what you do? Deal? Fine, Eddie. I'll do what I do. Good. It's a pleasure. You're always welcome, Jonah. Employees don't list cars on the job apps? It's optional. You get so much turnover. Nobody noticed anything unusual about a pregnant lady with bloody handcuffs and a gun running through the parking lot. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah. You got tape running through that? I don't want to take a look at that. It's all queued up. Sorry, miss. There's our girl. Jackpot. Pretty short notice, Lise. Not so easy to get away. Sorry. So what was so important, huh? You tell me. Bert Summers. What about him? This could be bad for everyone, Leon. Look, I don't know what to tell you guys. How about the truth? For real, all I know is that Bert Summers laid a couple bets with Charlie. Nothing out of the ordinary. This fed owed Charlie some down. Well, that's nothing really. Everybody bets. Nobody cares about that stuff. You're following me. We were protecting you. Come on, you know the protocol. Eyes and ears, and we can afford it. We managed to get a parabolic through the front window of the canal club. Okay, so? So? You've forgotten what your job is? My job is to put away the bad guys. Bert's laying bets with a bookie he's supposed to be flipping. You don't see a problem with that? You don't think that maybe that's worth a follow-up? What does it matter now, Lise? They're both dead. Why does a veteran like Bert get dropped by a punk like Charlie Miller? If he's placing bets, who knows what else he was up to? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What are you saying? At least are Why you is Malloy always mind? one step ahead of us, huh? He's smart, but he's not that smart. It, I need some answers, Roy. I, I need to know if Bert was dirty. Can you do this? I understand if you can't. I know he was your best friend, but I need to know now. Do your job, Lisa. I'll do mine, okay? Good. And we, we still have no, no current driver's license, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, let me call you back. Yeah, thanks. What do we got? Uh, well, Steven's got a partial plate from the parking lot security camera, but I... I got nothing. Car's unregistered. She has no current driver's license. Yeah, that figures. Do we have a team on a residence? Yeah, we're all Richmond PD. Samson, hey, I talked to the Chicago field office. Uh, fugitive used stolen credit cards this past year. Not much to go on there. Uh, by the way, she had priors for assault and possession. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Dillard would not let me do the homework. All right, it's a bullet that... downrange now. Yeah, but I could Let it go. Good? Yeah. Thank you. All right, do we have any local contacts? What, what's our fugitive's name again? Yeah, we do. Uh, Vera Fleming. Uh -huh. And uh, the only living relative I could find was his sister, Jolene. She's the one that called in the complaint. 
Her sister called in the complaint. Well, that's interesting, right? Right, right, right. FBI. Well, I called the police, so... Well, they referred it to us. Your sister's wanted it in Chicago, and this morning she assaulted a federal officer. You're kidding. No. Oh, she's a piece of work, all right. Yeah, I do where she is right now. Check her apartment? She's not there. Any friends she might have gone to. Oh, Vera doesn't have any friends here, not since she went to Chicago. So why'd you call the police? Oh, well, she's been stealing credit cards, right? I mean, I know she has, because she's been doing it since high school. Hey, is there some kind of reward? No, we'll, we'll look into it. What made you call yesterday? Oh, well, she's been bugging me, right? Ever since she came back pregnant, she has been bugging me. She wants to stay at my place, like, to hell with that, right? She smokes like a chimney, gets drunk all the time, gets high. High on what? Pot, pills? Rocket fuel, mostly. Well, marijuana dipped in PCP. PCP? She's pregnant. Yeah, she says it helps with the nausea. Just give us a minute. Sure. Check on Sorry, that. lady. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, she keeps her stash at my place because she wait, says she wait, can't trust her. Wait, wait, you let her keep illegal drugs at your residence. Are you in a bus? What happened yesterday? OK, well, look, I've been loaning her rent money, which is a joke, right? Because she's always got new clothes, new shoes. And then yesterday, I was like, I don't care if she is my baby sister. I ain't helping out anymore. And? And she freaking hit me. It's not the first time, I'm guessing. Hell no. So, Jolene, what made you call the police yesterday? Because yesterday, Vera stole my credit cards. Hey, boss. Hey. Hey, any more of that pie? Oh, no, less piece. I can send someone if you like. I had a meeting with Eddie Evans this morning. Well, the uh, new baseball guy. Yeah, sanctimonious son of a bitch had me sit there while he lectured me on what a schmuck I am. Like I was something he wanted to scrape off his shoe. Why don't I do what I do and you do what you do? He said that? Yeah, he said that, Donovan, to me, to my face, he said Kidding. that. No, you've known me, what, now, 15 years? Yeah, something like that. Never in that time if I want to see someone dead as I want to see this guy dead. My hands around his throat. Hey, Mr. Malloy, how you doing? Hey. Stubbs? Hey, what's up? Am I busting in on something here? No. Good. I'll see you later. What's wrong with the boss? Never mind him. What's with you? Where you been? What, do I have to punch in now? Hey, simple question, Roy. That's well, all. I had a little thing going on. You want details? You got any more of that pile up? No, we don't got no more pie. And why don't you go get some so Malloy doesn't have to go poking around like a popper? Man, what is wrong with you this morning, Stubbs? You forget to take your meds? I'll tell you what's wrong with me, Roy. You're beginning to worry me. You seem to be forgetting your place on the food chain awfully quick. You know what I mean? So, uh... He's taking over Charlie's bug. You even listening to me? The guy's not on the ground three weeks and you talk like this? You have any respect? There's business. I know how to keep booked, you know that. Yeah, well, Leon's taking it. Leon? Seniority. Hey, well, I'm all for seniority stubs, but the guy can't even use all his digits to yeah, count. Well, that's none of your business, what he can do. It's all about baby steps, Roy. I told you that, baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps to the elevator. Baby steps to the crime ring. Hey, Mora. Bert Summers' address is on Rockland, right? Uh, Bert Summers? Yeah. I, I need to speak to his widow. What's the address, please? Oh, uh, yes. 139 Broadview. Hi. Lisa. Hey, Hi. I killed my buddy. Oh, and check the playroom closet, hon. You're moving. Yeah, to an apartment a mile from here. I, I want the kids to finish the school year. After that, who knows? There's not as much money as I thought. Hey, Nathan. Look at you, buddy. You're huge. What happened? He's amazing. Look at that. Thank you. We're doing well. Oh, come in. I uh, know. This, uh, it's not a social visit. Um, put the box down, sweetie. Go, go help your sister. I need permission to search the house. What? I could get a court order, but that would involve a lawyer and a magistrate. It would be a matter of public record. Oh, wait, wait, wait. a court order? What, what's going on? I can't tell you. 
At least that's me. What, what, what's happening? I need permission to search the house and the truck, please. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Hey, Leon. I didn't do nothing, man. Oh, it's me, Roy. I know you are. You scared of me, man? No. You're some kind of enforcer, right? Look, man. The boss says take out the trash. I just gotta take out the trash, okay? How's the finger? This is come on next week. All right, congratulations. Yeah, well, it's good to eat here. Um, blueberry pie. Hey, can I get a piece of the blueberry pie? A cup of coffee. Sure, darling. So listen, I uh, hear you're taking over Charlie's book. Yeah, poor Charlie. Uh, it's a good guy. Life goes on, right? Well, hey, congrats on the promotion. Thanks. Goodbye to this. Uh, I guess you must be um, must be good with numbers. I guess so. Uh, I'm jealous, man. Really? To me, they just look at his muscle, but you, they look at his the brains, you know? No, I never thought of it like that. I'm serious. Well, you know, I've been thinking I might want to get in on this end of the business, but I just haven't got your know-how, you know? Come on, Roy. It's simple. Really? Even for a dummy like me? Dummy? I could teach you the ropes in an hour. Easy. I, I don't want to be paying. Pain. What, what kind of pain, pain? Come on. Sirius Van Dorn. Hello. I'm Special Agent Van Dorn. This is Special Agent Sampson. Hey, how you Find doing? the car? Uh, yes, ma'am. Handcuffs. Yeah, they were sitting right there when I got Yeah, I know. She could have sprung them with a bobby pin. They weren't double locked. It's nice work, officer. Thank you. Um, I'd watch out right there. It's wet. I think it's soda. Why would you say soda? Uh, because it's sticky. You know what? That's not soda. It's amniotic fluid. Her water broke. Yeah. Drugstore. She bought a 16 ounce cola, a large bag of chips, super absorbent sanitary napkins, pack of cigarettes. All right, I figure she saw the cop nosing around her car and split. Yeah, okay. She's in labor, right? Right, right. I've been in and called all the local hospitals, also the cab companies and bus companies, but you know, with PCP in her system, we don't know how far she could get. So, okay, what? we continue canvassing. We hope for a call from George the Tech. Oh, damn it. That's good, man. Tell the truth. You face Clemens? Yeah, just once. Once? What was he like? I don't know. He's a beast. He's like you wouldn't believe. Did you get a hit? No. I think I went over four. I uh, struck out twice, grounded out, popped out deep. Deep. Hey, Mr. Malloy. Jesse, come here. Come here. What, you drinking beer? Well, we were. That's that with that. You're in training. I got a tryout. You let me worry about... Come on. You let me worry about that. You work on your bat speed, okay? All right. I got a batting cage set up here. Come come with me. What's that? Who's Roy? I just saw him. You just saw him where? He told me not to tell you nothing. He told you not to tell me what? All right. Don't tell him I told you. But he wanted me to school him on the book. He wanted you to school him on the book. I was a slow learner, too. Well, what else did he tell you not to tell me? OK, so put that all hmm? on my ticket. Have the boys mm -hmm. clean up everything right away, please. Right. You find anything? Or is that uh, classified? Need to know. Could you give me a minute, please? Thank yeah. you. Still, I'm sorry. The guy's no, 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 no. No up. apologies, not from you. Guy has 12 years in. Guy puts his life on the line for the Bureau. Guy dies for the Bureau. But does that get him any rights? Does that get him any respect? Uh, send me the moving bill. I'll make sure it's taken care of. And that makes everything better. Estelle, I'm sorry. But believe it or not, this is hard for me, too. You'll get over it after you slam back a few.
Who is it? Tooth Fairy. Uh, hold, hold on a minute. Hey, man. Come on in. You caught me on a can. What's going on? <sighs> I haven't seen your digs. Yeah, well, regular Taj Mahal, you know. What's that? Nothing. Let's go get a drink. Nice. Yeah, it's all right. You got a couple messages. It's all right, I'll check them later. No, Let's I go. don't mind. That's OK, play them now. No, really, it's all right. <laughs> you have two new messages. First new message. Hey, Roy, it's Bambi. I can't make the movie tonight, but maybe You're tomorrow. You're taking horse to dinner I... now, huh? Hey, man, come me some slap, guy. Second, I just got out of the joint, message. right? Hey, Roy, it's me, Leon. Got that info about Burr Summers. He owed too large when he checked out. All right, buddy, talk to you later. <laughs> What did I tell you about? What did I tell you? What did I say about I'm talking to Leon? What did I say? Leon. Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Oh! Oh! You didn't have the safety on, man? What are you thinking? You see what you're doing to me, Ron? Uh, my ears ring, huh? Uh, you're pissing me off. I told you before uh, that I vouch you, but you don't listen. You run your mouth. You do everything I tell you not to. Uh, I know it. Uh, you're making me look bad. All right, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Right, I'm but... sorry. You said that before. What's with that fed sum is all the question. That's not your play. Hey, you want to know what that is? Yeah, I do. I just, I felt, okay, fine. I felt like if I had another fed on the line, that I could flip him and maybe get some inside dope on but the FBI. You don't FBI. think I could flip anybody? As soon as Charlie told me someone was laying bets, I said, look, let's cut the guy a deal. But Summers wouldn't tumble. He insisted on paying the debts. I don't need you to flip anybody. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, all right. I just felt like I... Felt I, what? I don't know. I thought I, I guess I was trying to... Impress my lawyer or something, man. You know, and Blair. Blair? What do you care about Blair? He's number two, right? What are you talking about, number two? Who told you that? He tell you that? Uh -oh. Well, where'd you get an idea like that? I, I just thought he was number yeah, two. Yeah, well, don't think. I'm number two, okay? Yeah. I'm the lawyer's right arm. You got that? Yeah, all right. Yeah. You want to impress someone, you impress me. Okay. It's tough, son. Sorry, man. Yeah, right. I've heard that before. Twelve thirty-four. Give me the name again. Thanks, Sweeney. We're on it. Ben Doran. Hey, you know what? There's a free clinic around. George the... just what? called. Vera made a cell phone call to a residence about three miles from here. This is it. Call to break. <laughs> Lisa, what's going on? What do you mean? Estelle just called and she's... Okay, shh, shh. Estelle just called. She's freaking out. Says you searched her place? We didn't find anything. What were you looking for? It's classified. You know that. For me? It doesn't involve you. <sighs> what are you talking about? The guy was my partner. That's why it doesn't involve you. What do you mean it doesn't involve me, Drop Lisa? It. I get it, I get it, but I don't want you dealing with this unilaterally. Carl, she's my daughter, too. No, it's not It's not a matter of trust. It's different points of view. No, I'm, I'm going to be hung up here for a while. There's a stir-fry in the freezer. You can... Okay, okay. All right, we'll talk later. Yeah. And that my eight-year-old daughter is going through a phase right now, and my husband thinks I should be tougher on her. It's hard, you know? Gone so much, I... When I get home, I don't want to be the bad cop. Nobody would. How about you? You doing okay? Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. If you were me this morning, would you have pulled the trigger? I can't answer that. I yeah, you can. From what I've told you, would you have pulled the trigger? Would you have fired? From what you've told me? A woman comes up with a gun, 
Hell yes, I would have fired. I got two kids and a husband to come home to. She's pregnant. And, and she, she didn't find she It's better to be judged by 12 me. and carried by six Van Dorn. Heads up. I think that's her in the cab. Hazel Jenkins? Yeah. Hello, my name is Paige Van Doren. This is Jennifer Sampson. We're special agents with the FBI. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? It'll only take a minute. No, I don't mind. Um, do you know Vera Fleming? She stole my car. When, ma'am? About an hour ago. OK, OK, Hazel. I can't believe it's it. It's OK, calm down. Just tell us what happened. I used to babysit her. Who, Vera? Well, both a girl. She called me on the phone, said that her car was broken down and she needed to get to an appointment. Where was she when you picked her up? 1600 block of Palmyra Avenue, okay. north side somewhere. I don't know. And then she told me we went a few blocks. She told me to get out of my own car. She had a gun. OK, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> do you know which hospital she went to? Hospital? Why would she go? Ma'am, she's pregnant. And she didn't look pregnant to me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, Lisa, I get it. We've got half Richmond PD down here, plus our guys. We're canvassing everything. Yeah, you got it. I'll call you as soon as we have something. OK. Van Dorn, you got anything? Negative. We just started on the south side. Copy that. Special agent, uh, we've cleared the north end of the alley. <sighs> nice work, officer. All right, everybody, listen up. The north end of the alley is clear. We're going to concentrate everything from here down. I want you to check every door, look at every car. Talk to everyone in a Like surprises, Donovan. Oh, you're gonna like this boss. Mm. Mm. You snatched Eddie out. Yeah, it was beautiful, like clockwork. You know, I was just gonna whack him myself, but then I thought, no, this is personal to you, and I figured you'd want to hand it yourself. Does Evans know who took him? Oh no, it was clean. You're certain? Absolutely. Ski mask, chloroform. Never knew what hit him. Something wrong, boss? Donovan, tell me why this man is here. Well, why? Because you said so. I said so. And this morning, you said you never wanted to see somebody dead as much as this guy. I see. And you took that for an order? Well, yeah, that's what you said. Well, that's understandable. I was passionate. I was speaking from the heart. But you confused my intentions, Donovan. I wasn't speaking with my head. So, so what? You don't want him dead? Oh, I want to beat this man. I want to beat him badly. But not by putting a 22 behind his ear. I want to take everything he has piece by piece. I want him in my office one day, begging for favors so I can spit in his face. That's how you beat a man like Eddie Evans. Uh, well, geez, I'm sorry. I mean, honest mistake. No, it's OK. However, next time, should you have any questions about my orders, my intent, ask. All right. So, um, what do you want me to do with them? You okay? I don't know. Paige, that baby's gonna live. You think about that. How could she do that? How could anyone okay. do that? Okay, okay, look. 
When you're at Quantico, all you think about is do I have the strength to put away the bad guys, right? The real question is, do you have the strength to do this? Lift a baby out of a dumpster. That's the job, too. Van Dorn. Uh, hold on. Hold on, please. Vera just used Jolene's credit card twice. OK, what was that first address? 1154 Main in Rutherford. Second address? 380 Hollyhock in Centerville. OK, we're on it. Thank you. All right, Rutherford to Centerville. She's traveling southwest towards Millbrook. Her sister lives in Millbrook. Why would she be going to her sister's? To get her stash. 22J48 to control. 22J48, though. Any backup Excuse at 138 me, Floor Avenue in Millbrook? Assault with a gun. I'm going in. Drop it or die. Believe it. started placing bets two years ago, football mostly. I know he wanted to add on a room for the kids, redo the kitchen for Estelle. Turns out he's a lousy better, always was. The farthest behind he got was six grand. Yeah, well, always people offered him a deal, but he didn't flip, Lisa. He didn't turn. He still owed two grand when he died. You sure? Am I sure? I, I could have died bringing this to you, Lisa. Yeah, I'm sure. I told you that Bert was clean. You should have known it, too. Don't you remember the three of us back in L.A.? Huh? The three musketeers broke us to the end? That was a long time ago, Roy. Not so long. This is what happens when you start sucking up to the director. Sell out your friends. You are way out of line. Shame on you. Well, I'm sorry that your teacher caught mad, sweetie, but you lost your homework. It's your responsibility. Joni. Joni, stop, sweetie. Stop, stop, stop crying. Take a breath. All right, all right, listen to me. When you pull it together, call me on my cell, okay? Okay, I'm hanging up now. Tough love. It's part of the job. So, that was nice work back there, Paige Van Doren. I go through a door with you any day. I mean that. Thanks. So, Vera, what do you know about being a mother, huh? You take any classes? Vera? Damn it. So turn around. We gotta go to the hospital. Vera! Hey, um, so she didn't pass the placenta when she gave birth, which led to massive hemorrhaging. EMTs checked her at the same... She'd been bleeding for two hours, maybe more. Sanitary napkin masked the extent of the trauma. Look, there was nothing you could have done. Really. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, doctor. Uh, and you want to be for the paperwork? I'll do it. You go home to your daughter. Welcome. 
Isn't she a dear? Yeah. Is she yours? No. I brought her in today. Um, FBI. Has this baby been held in the last hour? No. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat won't pull, Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull. If that cart and bull turns over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover won't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart If that horse and cart falls down You'll still be the sweetest little baby in 